Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Count one and oh. Now the one oh. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. Count one and one. And he fouls this one off. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. The next one two pitch. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Mickey stop. Mantle is retired Wonder. for the first out here in the bottom Wonder. half of the first. Wander Franco is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. Hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Mantle's on the move at the track. Around second now, and they still haven't flagged this one down. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Batting third. At the plate the now, baseman. Chipper Jones. Chipper. A little bouncer. Jones. Good pitch there as Chipper couldn't Come connect, on. and the count moves to 0-2. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield get something elevated I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect but if anything is belt or above you got to swing and a base hit as the run will come in to score from third and it's now a one nothing lead for the Dodgers. Batting four the left field in now Vladimir Guerrero. As he puts it on the ground to third. He's got to hurry. And indeed, no look at second. He'll go straight to first and take the sure out. Next to stand in is Mickey Betts. And the Dodgers with an opportunity for more here in the first. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Comes set. The 0-1. Bouncer to the left side, scooped up. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and next it'll be the fleet footed first baseman, Willie Mays. The first baseman. Now the pitch. Oh, missed that one by a mile. It's 0 and 1. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Swing and a miss, and he's no in the hole 0 2 now. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first out. So that now to the plate, Eddie Matthews. Eddie Matthews. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 1. You know, when you're facing a top of the line pitcher like this, He's going to be down around the knees like that more often than not. The key is punishing whatever mistakes he makes, but so far he hasn't made many. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. That is it. And the now the first pitch. Eduardo, Eduardo Escobar oh stands in as he can't connect here. 0 oh 1. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate well, inning. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Ball now two. a sinker's low off the outside corner. Two I balls two and a strike. Two and two. Two, two, two. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager. He'll start us out here in the Leading home half of the second. The, Dodgers, the second baseman, Corey. Behind on that one, now behind Seager. in the count, 0 and 1.
Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pound. High and deep to right center. Center fielder looking up. Adios, pelota. And up steps Salvador Perez. Seven, the catcher. As he pops the first pitch foul oh, behind man. the plate. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. This one's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. And it's one and two. Looked like he was going to wait him out. See if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is. And this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves. And he better be ready in the box. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. That was a nasty pitcher's pitch right there. Most guys strike out on that one. He was able to scramble out a little bit and give him another chance, and hopefully this pitcher misses over the heart of the plate. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Salvador Perez is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Fielded cleanly, in time to first, and there are two away. Next up for Los Angeles, Willie Mays will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. Rip down the first baseline, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. And before the 0-2 pitch, he'll step out of the box here to regroup. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Striding forward now is the DH. Kyle Schwarber will step in to lead it off in the top of the third. Hey, Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. That evens it up one and one. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off speed stuff. Fastball call, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. So next to hit is Hannes Wagner. And he got him out in front that time, strike one. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. So we got him swinging. Hannes Wagner is out number two here in the third inning. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. Popped him up. Jones in foul ground. And he makes the play to end the inning. Bottom of the third now. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Mickey Mantle. The center fielder. First pitch is a changeup for a called strike. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle and man. As a hitter, probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Behind 0-2 okay. now. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 0-2 once more. Grounded to first, reined in. And he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. So bases are empty with one out now. And here comes the five tool middle infielder, Wander Franco. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one out hit. Now a low throw, but he can't knock it down at first as it gets right by him. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now 
Standing in now, baseman. Chipper Jones. Chipper. He swings and grounds it to Jones. short. He's got it. Throw goes to third. The tag, and got they got him now. coming back to third. And he'll try to get back now, season. but it's not going to work. The so it's back to the top of the order now. And in to swing the bat next is Wander Franco. Wander. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. and Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. The 2-0. Too tight with that one. 3-0. and Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Three and one the count now. And it's up to a three two full count now. Hey, excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. You got a chance to get an out right here. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Luis Gonzalez will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing and one. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. To one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Ball, that's out. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone. But I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes. And now the count is two and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Two down, no one on base. And that'll bring in Mickey Mantle. Late that time for a strike. One's the count. A swinging no strike, and now strikes. it's 0 and 2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0 2, 1 and 2, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chance. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next Leading will be a up. speed fourth thread in the form of outfielder the Vladimir field. Guerrero. Vladimir. Go Just Guerrero. does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. The windup and the 0 1. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Mantle is under it, and there's one gone. Next up now is that. Mookie right Betts. Field. He's 0 for 1 Mookie. after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. And a curveball in for a strike. Two runs, four hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. behind 0 and 2 now fouled away the next 0 2 and here's a pitch inside and that got him stepping in once again is Corey Seager he got a hold of one and went yard in his first appearance in this one mm, a little tardy there no balls and a strike with that base running threat on first base man does that change the pitchers whole mentality this guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him in the dirt here and he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two Betts, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Back up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. The catcher, number 13. Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. 
struck out in his first at bat. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Runners are at the corners with one man out and maybe trying to get him off stride at the plate so he'll step out and ask for time. And that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And he'll reach second now with one away. That will bring up Hank Aaron. In the dirt and block behind the plate. No movement on base. It's ball one. The 1 0 home is laid off for ball two. Name it a game out on the mound is to disrupt timing of the hitters in the box. He certainly got this guy on the defensive. Now the 2 1. Runners are at second and third with one down. And prior to the 2 2, he'll step out of the box and ask for time. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. The run scores from second. Now a 5 nothing lead. Into the box now. Willie Mays as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. First time up he went down looking. And it's fouled away. In the dirt, and now let's see. Runner holds as the count moves to two and one. Three runs already home here. Fastball well outside. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a 3 1 count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. First offering. Strike called. Now the throw down. And skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. And he fouls this one off. And he'll just waste one there, one and two. He wasn't even close to swinging right there. That was a stone cold take. Filthy change up that time, but he's able to make contact and he'll get another chance. Chance. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset. Now the three and two pitch locks him up for strike three. That brings up Wander Franco. No two Number for two five. with a triple on his batting line to this point. Wonder. First pitch on the way. Franco. And that's cut on and missed 0 oh, and 1. Behind 0 oh and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. A swing and a miss as he chased with. Leading off the inning, it'll be Willie Mays, and they could use Leading a spark from him here. The first baseman, number 24. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up hey. this part of the lineup. Strike two. And 
He struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Now, batting. now here's the pitch. Eddie. Eddie Matthews swings and misses there, so he's down 0 and 1. Yeah, Matty, you're seeing a lot of late swings on the fastball tonight because this guy has had everything working. He has them in the proverbial rocking chair. No runs, no hits, and one error make up the totals for the Twins to this point. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So stepping in is Eduardo Escobar looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Out in front of it, strike one. 0 oh and 1 count and the pitch. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And standing in now, one of the best the players Dutton. of the past two decades, the, the great Chipper Jones. Chipper. Jones. Now the first pitch. Down the left field line and deep. But this will wind up being a foul ball. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Mays is under it. One down. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Vladimir Guerrero. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. Change up called strike one. Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Bases are empty, one man out. Good idea, but Vlad's not going for it. One and two. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to. Well hit out to straightaway center. Center fielder going back. Still ranging back. See you later. So that'll bring in Mookie Betts. Right fielder, Mookie. He Betts. offers at it and hits it in the air to left. Wagner ranging into the outfield. He gets there, and that's the second out. So the next to bat will be Pori Seager. He reached on a single Corey. last time and later wound up scoring. Seager. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Now time called at the plate as he'll step up out and try and start it again. Might have been looking to find that outside corner, but he couldn't quite get it there. It's one and two. Those were two great executed pitches right there away from a swing and a miss. That Top half of the sixth about to get started. And digging in is the veteran D.H. Kyle Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. Took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go to start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day. And that's on the menu so far. Lifted down the line and left. Jones into foul territory. And Vlad won't get there. This is a foul ball. The 1 2. Not surprisingly, here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The battle. 
Now to the plate, Hannes Wagner struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Adley Rutschman digging in now as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. Surprised the pitcher would even go to the top of the zone looking for a double play in this situation. Swing and a miss, strike three, the throw, and he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. Striding in is Salvador Perez, one for two with a double on the ledger so far. Troy Percival gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. And it's gone. That one cut through the sky like a hot knife through butter. That's why you got to pay attention in the on-deck circle. He was calibrating his heater right there, checking out the off-speed stuff, and he didn't wait around. First time he's seeing him, didn't matter. He took him deep. Into the box, Hank Aaron. Fielded cleanly. And they will get... No, he's in there. A very close play at first. Stepping in now, Willie Mays. In the dirt. And a nice job keeping it close. It's ball one. The 1-0 home misses ball two. He's gone back to back with off speed stuff to start this AB and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge him. Now an off speed pitch that nearly ran in and got him. That was a change up so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit. That'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup. As he lines it out to center. And that's in there. Base hit. Throw won't get him. And the runner from second is in to score. To the plate now, Wander Franco. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Mantle's on the move. You can kiss it goodbye. Final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. 11 runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Twins, no runs, just one hit, one error. They left just one runner on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 28 minutes. <laughs> 